Peppa Pig Tales. Oh, wah, dear. Wah, wah. There, there. Today, Peppa has found a video <gasps> of when she was a baby. <laughs> I was a very loud baby, wasn't I, Daddy? Ho, ho. Yes, all babies are sometimes. Gosh, oh. that must have been when I was pregnant with George. Pregnant? What does that mean? <laughs> that means he was still in my tummy. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. <laughs> what are you doing, Peppa? Look, now there's a baby in my tummy too. Oh. <laughs> Very good, Peppa. Now, what do people with babies in their tummies do? Hmm, I used to get lots of funny cravings, which are when you really want to eat certain foods. Mm -hmm. Yum. Peppa oh. has decided she has a craving too. I really want to eat... Oh. Spaghetti! <laughs> Peppa thinks cravings are delicious. <laughs> ah, that was very yummy. What else happens when you have a baby in your tummy, Mummy? Well, I'd get tired a lot, so kind people would offer me their seat so I could sit down when I needed it. Hmm. Ahem. Hello, Peppa. I have a baby on my tummy and I'm very tired. So you need to give me your chair, please, Daddy. <laughs> Gosh. right -o. here you go. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> and sometimes my feet would hurt. So Daddy Pig would give me foot rubs. <gasps> Peppa likes the sound of foot rubs. Daddy, my feet are hurting. So I need to have a foot rub, please. Oh, well, not a moment to lose. Oh, oh. <laughs> a little here and a little Daddy Pig's foot rubs are more Mr. like Fox? foot tickles. <laughs> oh. oh. There's one more thing that happened when Mummy Pig was pregnant. What was it? Eventually, Ooh. a baby came. Auntie Pig has brought Baby Alexander for a visit. Hi, Baby Alexander. I was pretending I had a baby oh. in my tummy. But now we can pretend that you're my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Real babies are quite noisy, actually. So I think I'll keep my cushion instead. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pepper. <laughs> Mummy Pig is dropping Pepper off at Playgroup, but Mummy Pig is also looking after Baby Alexander. Ooh, my. Mind if I clean up Alexander's smelly nappy before I go, Madam Gazelle? I insist. <laughs> oh, can we help clean him up? Please! <laughs> okay. Can you pass me the nappy cream from the changing bag and a fresh nappy? <laughs> Everyone likes helping Mummy Pig change baby Alexander's nappy. There, fresh as a daisy. Can baby Alexander play with us? Please! Well, I don't see why not. Hooray! Peppa is showing baby Alexander all her favourite bits of the playgroup. These are the books. <laughs> baby Alexander likes all the books. This is the whole world. <laughs> and he enjoys spinning the globe. <laughs> and this is Madame Gazelle. Bonjour, little Alexander. Oh! But he likes Madame Gazelle most of all. Uh -huh. <laughs> Perhaps it is time for some painting. <laughs> Everyone is painting pictures of themselves, Ooh. called ah. self-portraits. I'm Peppa Paint. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. I'm Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Susie. <laughs> I'm 
and I'm Gerald. <laughs> <laughs> well done, baby Alexander. It looks like a tasty apple. Baby Alexander's painting has reminded Pepper that it's time for lunch. It's Baby Alexander's mm. lunchtime too. He's eating special food for babies. Here comes the train, Alexander. Choo-choo! Is Baby Alexander's food nice, Mummy? He thinks so. Oh. oh, my. Mind if I clean Alexander up again before we head off? I insist. I'll get the bag. Oh, let's go! Oh. Everyone loves having Baby Alexander at playgroup. And Baby Alexander loves visiting. <laughs> Peppa and her family are taking Baby Alexander on the Ferris wheel. But he isn't very happy. What's that smell? <laughs> yeah! Hmm, it's Baby Alexander. He needs a nappy change. But we're at the front of the queue for the Ferris wheel. Ooh. Hold your noses, everyone. Boo! This Ferris wheel smells terrible. Sorry, Peppa, but it's our job to look after baby Alexander. If we help now, we can play later. Yes. Baby Alexander needs our help. That's the spirit. Now let's go and look for a nappy changing station. Oh, that's better. Not here. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> Done, Peppa. We found the nappy changing station. First, we have to take off the dirty nappy and put it in the bin. Um, where is the bin? Hmm. Ooh. Here it is, Daddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Now we must wash our hands. Add a dab of cream. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, Peppa. Now, finally, a clean nappy. Can I do this bit, Daddy? Of course, Peppa. There. All better. That was so fun. I've never changed a nappy before. You did very well, Peppa. But do you know what's even more fun than changing a nappy? <laughs> Baby Alexander and his family have come to say Happy Christmas. But Baby Alexander isn't happy at all. Why is Baby Alexander crying? Christmas is fun. Well, this is Baby Alexander's first Christmas. He doesn't know how fun it can be yet. Then it's got to be extra special. I'll show him all my favourite Christmassy things. I love Christmas dinner. It has carrot, potato, sprouts. <laughs> No, you're supposed to eat it, not throw it. Let's try something else. Wrapping presents is really fun. You can put the bow on top. No, we need to 
wrap them up so other people can open them. Baby Alexander thinks unwrapping presents is much more fun than wrapping them. I don't think Alexander likes Christmas at all. Really? He's been having fun with you all day. But I wanted it to be extra special for him. Spending Christmas with his cousin is extra special, Peppa. But he's doing it all wrong. Alexander is just a baby. Maybe you need to find some simple things he can do right. Christmas for babies. Oh, I have some ideas. <laughs> baby Alexander enjoys passing out the Christmas presents. Thank you, Alexander. This one's for Mummy. And he really likes Christmas crafts. <laughs> well done, Alexander. And music. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Hooray! But he enjoys spending Christmas with Peppa most of all. Now we'll always remember Alexander's first Christmas. <laughs> Stop! Today, Peppa and her family are walking to the duck pond. But there's a big metal barrier in the way. Sorry, folks. The path is closed. But we're almost at the pond. Huh? I'm afraid it's much too slippy. Whoa! <laughs> Just follow the diversion signs with the bright red arrows. Won't take you long. A diversion is when you have to go a different way. Come on, everyone. It'll be an adventure. See you soon, ducks. <laughs> Here it is. Oh. Peppa has found the first bright red arrow. And another. Huh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and another. <gasps> oh. <gasps> but the next sign has fallen down. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Sign. Ooh. Nobody knows which way to go. Hmm. Do we go left or right? The right way sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! Hey! Uh, are we lost? We're not lost. We just don't know where we are. When you don't know where you are, you are probably lost. Uh... Um. Look, oh. a duck. Hello, duck. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Duck. Do you know where the duck pond is? What a spot of luck! Lead the way, duck. This is a duck trail, Daddy. We must all waddle like ducks. We're going to the duck pond, big wiggle whack. We're going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. We're, We're going, going to, to the duck, duck pond, big wiggle whack. We're, We're going, going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. Peppa and her family have made it to the duck pond. We did it! Yay! You took your time. I bet you're glad you took the diversion. Yes. It was much more fun. Whoa! <laughs> and much less slippery. Quack, 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 quack,
<laughs> Whoa! Today, Peppa and her playgroup are on a trip to a bug museum. Follow me, everyone. <laughs> oh. Squeak! Big bugs! This room is all about ants. It even has some big robotic ants to look at. Don't worry, it's not a real ant, it's a big robot. Ooh, I love robots. Whoa! Ants work together as a team to bring food to their queen. Would you like to try being ants? Can I be the queen? Yes! yes! <laughs> Yay! Peppa's friends are racing against the ants. They have to get the foam leaf to Queen Peppa. <laughs> yes! Yay! Well done, everyone. You worked as a team just like ants. Ah. This room is all about bees. It even has bee costumes for dressing up. <laughs> you look the bee's knees. Can you find your way through the beehive like real bees? <laughs> well, go. <laughs> Everyone loves being bees, but the beehive is very confusing. They're lost. Bees follow the sun to find their way. Buzz! We can follow the sun too. <laughs> Everyone is following the sun to find their way, just like real bees. <laughs> Beautiful work, everyone! <laughs> the last room has something very special inside. But nobody knows what it is. Inside is something very colourful. Is it a parrot? Quack. It has big wings. Or a dragon? Rawr. And it used to be a caterpillar. Hmm. It's a... <gasps> Peppa and her friends love learning about all the bugs at the Big Bug Museum. Today, everyone is playing in Peppa's garden. Emily Elephant has slipped into a big muddy puddle. <gasps> Monster! No! Monsters aren't real! It's a... <gasps> Hedgehog! Phew! The hedgehog has slipped in the muddy puddle too. Don't worry, we'll help you get out. Whoa! The hedgehog has become a prickly ball, but Edmund knows what to do. We need to get some help from a grown-up because the hedgehog is lost and prickly and we need to be careful. Oh! Mummy Pig! Daddy Pig! Mummy Pig has come to help everyone out of the muddy puddle. And Daddy Pig is helping the hedgehog. His thick gloves keep him safe from the hedgehog's spiky back. You can put the hedgehog here. There's a blanket in there so it's nice and toasty. Blanky! Wonderful. Careful now. Hedgehogs can be a little bit prickly. I'll call you Prickles. Prickles! Dr Hamster has come to check that Prickles is safe and healthy. It was very clever to call me for help. Hooray! Prickles has rolled up into a ball again. Why does Prickles do that, Dr Hamster? Hedgehogs roll into balls when they're scared to keep themselves safe. 
Oh, so Pickles is scared? It's just a bit noisy, that's all. If we keep quiet, maybe a little bit of apple will help Prickles feel relaxed. <laughs> Pepper and Emily Elephant have found more than a little bit of apple. Some food and rest, and we can release Prickles into the garden when the sun goes down. Why can't we do it now? Hedgehogs are nocturnal, which means they like to explore at night and sleep in the daytime. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a clever clogs, you know. Oops, sorry Prickles. The sun is going down, which means it's time for Prickles to go back home. Where do hedgehogs live, Dr Hamster? Why, in hedges, of course. <coughs> Bye, Prickles. Come and visit us again soon. Everyone loves spending time with Prickles and everyone loves seeing him get home safely. Found one! That's a big one. Granny Pig has asked Pepper and George to find some fruit and vegetables for lunch. First on the list is a fruit that can be red or green. What do you think that can be? Hmm. <laughs> George, we don't have time to eat. We have to find fruit for lunch. <gasps> An apple. They can be red or green. Next, we have to find a long vegetable that is orange and crunchy. I know. Rebecca Rabbit always brings carrots to play group. They are long and orange and crunchy. Grandpa, where are the carrot trees? <laughs> Not everything grows on trees. Some vegetables grow in the ground. <laughs> I'll help you, George. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is a vegetable that looks like... Small trees. <laughs> I can only see big trees, Grandpa. Not small ones. These stools look like little trees. They're broccoli. Ho, 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 ho. Very good, Pepper. Last on the list is oranges. That's odd. I don't think I grow any oranges. If there are oranges here, George and I will find them, Grandpa. Pepper and George are searching everywhere for an orange. Uh. <laughs> orange! That is the right colour, but not what we are looking for. Oranges are round. But they can't seem to find one anywhere. We found the orange! <laughs> that is the right colour, and it is round, <gasps> but that is a pumpkin. Oh! oh. <gasps> oranges! Where did you find those oranges, Granny? We looked everywhere. From the supermarket, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Pepper is enjoying the flowers in Grandpa Pig's garden. Oh, <laughs> bless you, Pepper. What is all this yellow stuff, Grandpa? That is called pollen. Bees carry it around the garden and help flowers grow. Thank you for helping the flowers, little bee. <laughs> Careful, Pepper. You mustn't touch the bumblebee. But why, Grandpa? It's so fuzzy and cute. 
Because you're very big, and the bee is very small, so it might be a bit scared. And bees can sometimes sting when they're scared. They can? Yes, so you must be very gentle with them and let them have lots of space. Some people can even be allergic to their stings. <gasps> oh. Peppa isn't sure she likes bees anymore. But bees are also very helpful and kind to the world. They're the reason we have honey. <laughs> I love honey. Bees make honey in hives, just like this one. Can I see? Can I see? Whoa there. There's lots of bees in a hive, so you'll have to change first. Ta-da! I mean, buzz buzz! Pepper, George and Grandpa Pig are wearing special thick clothing that protects their heads, hands and bodies from being stung. Splendid! Grandpa Pig is showing Pepper and George a part of his beehive. All of those bees live in that little house? Yes! This is where they make delicious honey. Bees all work as a team to gather food and protect each other. Like me and George. <laughs> We're just like bumblebees. <laughs> buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> what happens to all the honey that the bees make? Well, we put it in jars like this. Grandpa Pig is collecting the fresh honey in a glass jar. Then we make yummy honey sandwiches for our lunch. Mmm! This is the best sandwich ever. Thank you, little bee. Peppa loves honey sandwiches, and Peppa loves bees for all the kind things they do. It is bin day today, so Mr. Bull is up early to collect all the bins in the town. Stop! But Mummy and Daddy Pig forgot to put the bins out last night. <laughs> Don't forget these, Mr. Bull. For you. Moo! You're just in time. Ah, oh, you've sorted them into the coloured bin bags. Perfect. Why are the bin bags different colours, Mr. Bull? Well, the red bag with the paper symbol is for paper and cardboard. <laughs> The blue ones with cans on are for metal. <laughs> and the green ones with the glass bottles on... Oh, they're for glass. <laughs> That's right. And now they're sorted, we can clean them and make them into something brand new. That's called recycling. Ooh. Peppa and her family are very good at recycling. Wow! I'm off to the recycling centre now, actually. Would you like to join <laughs> me? Yes, please. Maybe we should get dressed first, Peppa. <laughs> now that Peppa and her family are dressed, oh. Mr Bull has given them special <laughs> clothes to wear. Now you're a proper recycling team. Let's go! Mr. Bull has brought everyone to the recycling centre to make sure everything gets sorted properly. I'll carry the bags and you help me sort them into the right bins, OK? <laughs> First is this one. It has a green bottle, so it goes in that green bottle bin. Lovely! <laughs> Ooh, that one goes in the blue metal bin over there. Righto! Paper! Brilliant! Everyone is having lots of fun sorting out the recycling. Tin cans! Glass bottles! Newspapers! But Mr. Bull is very tired after sorting all the recycling. Phew! All done! Great work, team! But 
There's one thing left. Mmm, there is. Where? There aren't any bags of recycling left to sort. This, it's glass. So that means it goes in this glass bottle bin. Stop! Oh, oh, that isn't recycling, Peppa. It's my reward after a hard day's work. <laughs> Refreshing. <laughs> <laughs>